Hello there everyone, my name is Rexy and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon White. Last time around we caught Terrakian and did some final preparation so now we're all ready for the Elite Four. If you want to see my team you can look to the right and you'll see a quick overview of it but I went a bit more in depth on all the moves and such that I chose uh, in the last episode so you can check that out if you're curious about that but you know what let's uh, head inside. The Pokemon League is a place where you both pursue strength and express it. The way to express it is simple. You just have to beat the Elite Four in Champion. Sounds simple enough to me. You can start your challenge by battling any of the Elite Four and if you defeat them all you can challenge the Champion. However I warn you, once you turn, start your challenge there's no turning back. You must keep battling until you defeat them all or are defeated yourself. Do you want to go in? Yes. Then proceed. So that is one new thing about the Elite Four in Pokemon Black and White that was not done in any previous game. In all the previous games you had a set order that you had to battle them in, but here you get to actually choose which order you want to fight them in yourself. And um, four great warriors from the Pokemon League. The Southwest is the one who does not fear the ghost type. Southeast is the one who challenges the power of the fighting type. Northwest is the one who has mastered dark type. And Northeast is the one who knows the mind of the psychic type. If you can defeat these warriors with your courage and wisdom, you shall be led to the summit where the strongest champion awaits. So yeah, you can battle them in any order. I'm gonna actually battle them in the same order as this um, as this statue uh, lists them in. So we're gonna start in the bottom left with the ghost type. And ooh, it's spooky. What? 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 No! Don't don't take me, ghosts! Don't take me! I'm I'm too young to die. I'm too young to go to the spirit world. Oh oh oh! oh. Phew. Okay. And she is right over there. Let's do a quick check to see who we have in our party. Now, since this is a ghost type, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put prototype in my lead because prototype has crunch. Um, there are a couple of others that will be good, but you know what? Starting with prototype seems like a good choice to me. Let's walk up and challenge her. Eyes brimming with dark flame, this man rejected everything other than himself in order to bring about one singular justice. That's part of the novel I'm writing. I was inspired by the challenger who was just here and somehow I got a little sad. Excuse me, you're a challenger, right? I'm the Elite Force Ghost type Pokemon user, Chantal, and I shall be your opponent. So apparently someone was here before us. Could it be N? Could he have already been here? Oh well, we'll just have to wait and see, but for now we are going to be taking on Elite Force Chantal, the ghost type user. She has four Pokemon and she will start off with a Cofagrigus. A pure ghost type Pokemon and the evolution of a Yamask we've seen way in the past. Now actually I'm being really sneaky um, starting with prototype because Kovagrigus has an ability um, and you know what I'll just show you. Uh, Crunch will be super effective for starters but uh, and its defense profile but it has money that will automatically change your ability into money or uh, yeah and because prototype's ability is a negative ability, this will actually help us out a lot. Now, we're burned, so I want to put a full heal because we are going to be using uh, physical attacks and we, we can't stay burned. That, that will, really would not work out in our favor. So, let's use a burn heal here uh, to get rid of that and uh, hopefully we can tank this Shadow Ball. Ooh, well that did quite a bit, but I think a, another crunch should be fine. Boom, there we go. Kofagrigus is down. So that takes care of the first Pokemon of the Elite Four. Now next up is Jelly Scent. Ooh, now this one also has some water type moves, so that could be dangerous. Um, it's probably even going to go for one of those water type moves. So you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to Voltage. I feel like Voltage would uh, be the best suited because if it's gonna go for a water type move now, Voltage will uh, tank that quite easily. Yeah, see, that doesn't hurt at all. And uh, now we can just go for the Thunder. 
Let's see how hard this can hit. Hopefully a one-hit kill. No, no, not quite. Ah, oh, well, that's a shame. Okay, hopefully we can tank this surf too. Oh yeah, just barely. But you know what? It's okay. Oh, damn it. It went for the full restore. I didn't think it was in that low of health yet. So I wanted to full switch to take it out and then switch into my next Pokemon to take out this Jelly Scent. But that didn't really pan out all that well. Um, you know what? I think Shirokuma. You have Shadow Claw, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just go for Shirokuma then. And we'll use a Shadow Claw to finish this Jelly Sand off. Because this Surf shouldn't hurt badly because we're an Ice type. Yeah, see, it doesn't do too much. And Shadow Claw takes it out. Nice. Good job, Shirokuma. And uh, experience is shared. All right, next up is Chandelure. This is a Ghost Fire type, and this is her ace in the hole. It's level 50, uh, and all the Elite Four, ha they have three Pokemon at level 48 and one at level 50. Now, a Fire type, that that's really no good for us here. Um, we really can't handle that as, um, as an Ice type ourselves. I mean, like, technically, we could go for Surf, but I feel like we'll likely be... Uh, outsped anyway um, although I mean I could I could chance it really yeah you know what what the heck I'm, I'm gonna try nope nope shouldn't have tried uh, I, I, I really should have known that it would outspeed us 100% sure but oh well uh, we'll just have to switch into erosion because this is what I got erosion for and since I feel like this is gonna be the trickiest um opponent um actually no stone edge should stone edge should do quite a bit so let's just go for stone edge we'll definitely s survive this because we do have sturdy ah uh, and we miss right, we we seriously miss come on now nope and we're done damn it uh this is not going well uh, Voltage would die quickly. I suppose we can go for Natsu and heal someone up. I think that is the best thing that we can do. Because nothing Natsu has can really hurt this. But we can use uh, Natsu to tank some hits while we, um, while we heal back up Prototype to full health. Because Prototype uh, would do well, I think. So let's see how Natsu deals with this Fireball. Or Shadow Ball, I mean. Yeah, a crit. Well. Uh, not going too well, is it? Oh, well. We have Prototype. Prototype can uh, help us out here. Um, I could go for the Crunch to know, but I think Rock Sight will be super effective. And it has Stab, so I'm going to risk it. Even though it has a higher chance to miss. Luckily, we hit. And hopefully, we hit hard enough. Nope. But we do get the Flinch off. Nice. Now, let's go for a Crunch. She's gonna go for the full resort, but that's okay. That's perfectly fine because Crunch should do more than enough damage to at least take it to half. And then another Crunch will be enough to take it out. Yes, it is. Good job, Prototype. This is why I love you. This is why Prototype or, and Archaeops in general is one of my favorite Pokemon in uh, the Unova region. And finally, there's Gullard. A rock go or no a ground ghost type Pokemon so if you have any water or grass types those will do fine but I'm just gonna stick with the crunch I think um, I feel that, that will work out well enough yeah see that that does like half damage um, and if we survive this which we don't because it's a critical hit damn beastly oh and we're not looking too good here um, yeah, I think I'll just go for Titan. I think that will be fine. Um, and what can we do? Well, X's are hurt badly or not at all. I'm not sure. I think Earthquake should do decent damage regardless. So let's go for the Earthquake and hopefully take it down. There we go. Galark has fainted. And Titan gains a whole bunch of experience and we've defeated the first member of the Elite Four. You're dumbstruck. I know a lot of work, but right now I can't know what I'm saying. 
or you don't know what you're saying. That that text goes by a bit too quickly, even if you don't skip it, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. Sorry, first I must apologize to my Pokemon. I'm really sorry you had a bad experience because of me. It's not your fault. This is how battles always are. Even in light of that, I'm still one of the Elite Four. So yeah, we uh, beat her. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked it, please do leave a like below. That really helps me out. And next time, we'll take on the next member of the Elite Four. See you guys then.